Hey guys, how's it going? Now we all love to watch our favorite movies and TV shows offline on our Windows PCs. And while the VLC media player has been the go-to choice for many folks for ages, it's definitely not perfect. A quick search of user reviews will show you that the latest updates of VLC are full of bugs, glitches, crashes and more. Not to forget that VLC has actually been banned here in India. So what are some of the best alternatives to VLC? <laughs> That's what this video is all about. This is Vaughn from Guiding Tech and in today's video, we'll be talking about the top 5 media players that you can use on your Windows PC as an alternative to VLC media player. Let's get started. All right, so first up, we have my favorite recommendation, which is Media Player Classic, but not the original version because, well, that hasn't seen any development since 2017. No, I am talking about the K-Lite Mega Codec Pack, which also installs a updated, modded version of Media Player Classic. I mean, sure, the interface is super dated or as the developers would like to call it is classic, but that's probably the only complaint you can have with this. The Media Player can play back all sorts of forms formats, comes with support for HDR and 3D videos as well, and is super lightweight on your system resources. In fact, in my experience, I have found it to be even lighter than VLC. And unlike the original project, the K-Lite codec pack sees regular updates. What's more is that you get advanced hardware acceleration and better support for various complex formats such as MKV, which render seamlessly inside this app. Next up, we have an app that I've previously recommended on Guiding Tech as well, and it's called 5K Player. I mean, if you haven't given it a shot yet, go ahead and check it out. 5K Player can do everything that VLC can and then some. You get support for all the various media formats. And what's more is that you can also stream and download videos from online portals inside the app. Now it supports wireless streaming of audio video via AirPlay and DLNA, and even allows you to play radio thanks to its built-in radio player. Moving along, we have a media player that I guess most of you guys might already be familiar with. It's called Pot Player and it's the go-to recommendation for folks who love to customize their media experience. See, in terms of playback, Pot Player supports a wide range of video and audio formats, including DIVX as well. You also get support for 3D viewing if you so desire. The good part here is that it supports open codec, allowing you to add any codec necessary to optimize your viewing experience. And the one feature that most users admire about Pot Player is the level of customizability that you get with it. Like seriously, take it out for a spin and I'm sure you can customize it to reflect your personal personality. Next up, we have a media player for Windows that, well, has been around for quite some time and even then continues to go strong and is still regarded as one of the best media players by many people out there. It's called GOM Player and to start off with the basics, it comes with inbuilt support for all the popular video and audio formats, be it AVI, MKV, MP4, FLV and whatnot. You also get advanced features such as media player capture, speed control, audio video effects, screen capture and more. However, the clear highlight of Bomb Player is its integration with open subtitles. Like if you watch a lot of movies or TV shows on your PC, this media player will basically fetch subtitles for your video file seamlessly, making the experience so much better. Last but definitely not the least is an app that I actually first found out on my Android device and I loved it on my Android phone. And then I realized that, okay, they have an app for Windows as well. And as it turns out, the Windows version is pretty damn good too. It's called KM Player and it's a free and feature rich media player for Windows. It comes with support for up to 8K videos, along with support for Blu-ray and DVD content. You also get probably the best UI out there of all the media players, along with support for a huge array of media codecs, allowing you to play back almost all sorts of video and audio files. And the player also lets you stream content directly from YouTube and other streaming platforms. The only downside here is that it does use a lot of resources on your PC. But honestly speaking, if you have the horsepower on your system, you would definitely love using KM Player. And well, that was it. As always, you can find the download links to all of the apps that I talked about down in the description box. Also, if you feel like there's any other media player that you love using on Windows and wish was included in this list, let me know down in the comments below. Till then, this is one from Guiding Tech and I'll see you in the next one.